All right, let's get this show on the road. This is Lord Musad Sr. <clears throat> checking in with a project. Um, this here is a genuine jasmine guitar made in uh, Indonesia. Uh, not very well put together, actually. But anyways, the bridge came off of it. And it was brought over here, so it's not a very expensive guitar, but we'll see if we can't revive it a little bit. So I've had the top clamped down, and uh, I took a picture, which I will post. If I do make this video ever sees the light of day, um, what the bridge looked like when I took it up, what the top of the guitar looked like. It wasn't pretty. And again, most of the ones I get are not very pretty. All right. What I have done, and uh, miraculously it's down somewhat, is I removed the bridge, and the plate is so thin on this. The bridge plate is so thin. I think that's part of the problem. This actually split in the <clears throat> right along here, and it popped that right up. I've had some weight on there for... Oh, about almost a week because we had a storm here and there was no power so I wasn't down in the basement and I lost my screwdriver anyways so I started working on this critter before that and then I set it up and I was gonna get back to it a little sooner but I did manage to because everything went to hell in a handbasket when you lose power for three days, but anywho, I'm back, okay, I just removed a couple of screws, and the reason for that will become obvious in a minute here, uh, what I had to do was, if I can get it out of here, oh, this is a joy, all right, uh, I made a brace for the bridge plate, because I swear to God, the bridge gate bridge plate is like seems to be less than an eighth of an inch thick I know it's it's probably more than that but anywho that's the biggest problem that causes failure I believe so what I'm going to do is add this to it and what I had to do I hate to take this out to show but try to get it out of here it might not come out now that the top is down <laughs> well anyways Turn the camera off here. I'm not going to spend all this time with me fiddling with that, and we'll see what the problem is. Okay, we're back in business, I believe. I'll check the camera here. Yep. All right. This is what I was finagling with to try to get out. That has to go up inside, so I can put this on top of it. And then when I bring the clamps down, it's not going to crush the guitar. It's going to set it right into the tabletop through the base. This fits between a couple of braces in there. And there's enough gap so that when I bring this down, it's going to make sure the top stays flat. Right now, I'm just cleaning up this area. By the looks of it, what's coming up, it, it almost appears like this is another case of a bridges that are glued down on top of the finish. So they shoot the whole works, and don't mask off or do not clean off, and stick the bridge down with God knows what for adhesive, and occasionally they fail. And this one has failed, definitely. And I'm beginning to think that's what the problem was, part of it, besides being underbuilt. I'm going to turn the camera off again for a little bit here, and I'm going to do some sanding and finish that up, and I shall be back. I'm going to switch back on for a couple seconds. Judging from that dust, I'm not into the wood yet, and it's becoming quite obvious that this thing did have the finish put on, and then they stuck the bridge right down over the finish. So I'll go back to work and do some more cleaning. I'm going to bring you back in for a bit. That's definitely the answer. I'm using the scraper now to try to get down through that finish without destroying anything. 
I found out it'd be about a month of Sundays just sanding it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm working at it, and I'll be back. That's another case of the bridge being stuck down to the finish. Still chopping away at it. Okay. I'm going to back for a minute or two or three here. I'm going to attempt to get this block back in here again. That's the spacer I'm going to need when I crank down on this contraption. So what I'm going to do is attempt to move it to one side so I can get the block in there and then clamp down. So I'm going to push it to one side. And... I can't reach in there and position this. Yeah. And give it a... There are some holes down in there somewhere, which is so dark I can't see them right now. Okay. And I doubt I'll be able to try my spotlight here, but. Oh, come on. Oh, nothing like... All right, let's see if we can't find it this time. I won't hold my breath this yet. It's being difficult as usual. All right. Here. Uh, I am there at the moment. I think I'm going to be there after I put some glue on that. It's another story. But uh, I'm going to find out very shortly. I always love it when the glue does that. The cap gets stuck. All right, let's see here. There we go. Okay. I don't know how much of this is going to show up. I can't run the camera and do the work at the same time, but I'm gonna see if I can't glue this up. This is not much fun. Ugh. I'm afraid this is not going to be much fun. Stay up there. Well, maybe it will. All right. That wasn't what I wanted. Try again.
it's really being a bit of a pain here at the moment. This is a nightmare. <laughs> you know what's fair? How do you think I can hit that little devil? Oh, maybe. I think I found it. as much fun as I can stand right now. If I can catch that with a screw, we'll be in business, maybe. Weight is up there. Now, if I can slide this block back in place, which I'm beginning to wonder if I can do it. pretty much sort of in the middle. Okay. Ah, golly. Whew. I worked up a sweat on that one. What I have is a little piece here to keep from hitting those screws when I put the clamp down. I might just put a little piece on either side here. Ain't fancy, but it'll do the trick, I do believe. All right. Let's see if we're still in the camera so you can see what I'm doing at least. Okay. We're going to lay this on here. On your lot. And I'm going to clamp it down here in a minute. A couple pieces of rubber under the clamps. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off again. Hopefully. This is definitely going to take a little bit of work. Believe me, the clamp. 
camps are probably not going to want to stay there. Now that block is in there steady, so I know I have pressure on it. I know I'm not going to bust the top because it's sitting right against the table, so everything is pushing down into my tabletop. Hallelujah! We're going to call this part of the job done. Hopefully everything will come off <laughs> when the glue dries. Lori Dussel Sr. checking out. Okay, Lori Dussel Sr. checking back in. It's been well over 24 hours since I glued the bridge plate in there. Now, let's see what I ended up with after all that. I am hoping I can get that brace plate shim out of the block I used in there. Put this thing springs back enough for me to get it out of there. Ah, a little stick down there, but I'm sure that will <coughs> come up with a little bit of work. There we go. That is rough shape, but we'll see. Hallelujah. Block came off. I got it. Alright, yeah. Get back here. I suppose I'm getting out of camera range here. That one came out. All right. Hallelujah. Looks like this one's going to make it too. All right. See if I can take a peek in there with a little mirror. If there's enough light to get a little quick to keep for myself in there. And if I can get this light to work today. Oh. Okay, we definitely have a bridge plate in there. Yep, we do. Take my word for it. <laughs> okay. Now we have to press on here. Okay, I have to clean this up a little bit. We got a little filling I might do here. And uh, I will have to redrill these holes. I don't have the bridge here with me right now. I believe it's upstairs. So I am going to get the 
saddle. All right, I misspoke. I didn't mean <coughs> the saddle. All right, I meant the bridge, which I have to clean off a little bit of old glue from that, but it fits right on there pretty good. I think with some glue and some clamping, it'll be back as good as it's going to get for this piece of machinery. So <laughs> I am going to clean up the holes a little bit and get set to put the bridge plate, the uh, bridge down. All right, put a couple of screws in here to hold things down, and I'll get these holes here, just clear them out a little bit. That gets me through the new bridge plate. up a little bit more. Alright. It might still be a little bit tight here. But all I want to do is just make sure she's going to stay in place when I drill the outer ones. The more I put in here, the less it's going to have a chance to wiggle on me. All right. Oh, dear, 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 dear. And we shall remove. started. I know there's going to have to be tapered a little bit. Certainly not going to go all the way down. Right off the bat. That's just fine. For my purposes. shape. Oh dear me. Okay. Next thing I'll be doing pretty much is setting this thing up to glue the bridge plate, the uh, bridge down, hopefully. So I am going to turn off the camera and I'm going to Try to get myself set up a little bit here and figure out where I want to go from here. So, checking out. Okay, I've taped around the here so we can get it glued back down. So, I'm going to pull these pins out here. Hopefully. All right. Know pretty much everything's going to go where it needs to go. So the trick with this, and I'm not going to leave the camera on. I'm going to be cleaning this up a little bit. It's a little rough here, but I'm certain that the glue is going to do the job, and I'm going to probably put a little bit of filler in here, possibly. This other corner right here, the piece is still on there. So hopefully, when I get this cleaned up, we'll be ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to turn the camera off again and do a little bit of cleanup.
All right, I'm back again for a little bit. Oh, God. We're having a problem here. I just noticed after taking the tape off, the finish still goes way underneath there, so I'm going to attempt to get rid of it a little bit. I am not too happy about this because this is going to be a real pain. It's not going to work too well. Uh, go to plan B. Uh, or maybe all the way to plan C. I don't know yet. I'm going to try to clean this up. It's going to take a while and I am not going to do it all on camera. Okay, we're back on for a second here. Two. I'm going to see if I got enough super glue here to take care of this. And little void right here and I have some cedar dust that I'm gonna sprinkle in there and see if I can't fill that up a little bit along with this one right here this is turning into a Nightmare to say the least. Yeah, we'll see what we can come up with. One tiny little gap there. And that one I think I'm going to take. There. Okay, no telling how this is going to come out. But I would like to get that filled in a little bit. Uh, whoa, there. I got tons of this dust, so I'm not worried about it. going crazy with it. This stuff is not always easy to clean off once you've committed to do something like this. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll give it a try. I'd say that's about the end of that super dude. Alrighty now. Yeah. Alright. have a drawer full of sawdust in all kinds of colors and from oak and maple and cedar and pine and you name it. Alright, so I'm going to let this set up a little bit more. Turn off the camera and uh, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to the project, I hope. Now my workbench is a mess. Eventually we'll have that plate screwed down. I haven't exactly decided how I want to do it yet, but we shall see. Oh, God. If this went to a luthier and they did the work I've done on it, <clears throat> you could probably bought a brand new Gibson. <laughs> Lord Russell Senior checking out. This looks a little bit ugly, but it's a real son of a gun to get that bridge down. This this is one heck of a guitar to work on. But anyways, I had it pinched down here a little bit. I used the old piece of paper trick to make sure that I couldn't get under it anywhere along the side. So it tightens here. It's tightened down here. That holds this part down. These two put pressure down on the wings. This is holding this corner down because there was a problem, and this is helping to hold the leading edge down to get a good tight fit there. So I'm going to be turning the camera off again and disassembling this, and hopefully remember how to put it back together and 
get it, get it glued up. So I do salt senior checking out. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to glue this. Hopefully. It's all been cleaned up. Uh, I put a little bit of wax on the screws, so hopefully when this is done, I uh, will be able to back them out. <laughs> That's my plan anyway, I hope. I know it's a little problem that I have to take care of before I go any further here. I have a little divot sticking up on there where I had filled the hole and I hadn't removed the piece from here from the Okay, as I said, I have greased these uh, screws up, waxed them, I should say. Don't try to make any bigger mess than I have to. Bit of a pain here at the moment. All right. be a less than pleasant experience taking this apart if the glue decides to seize up something in there the nuts be able to hold these Okay. Here we do. Uh, if I can finish this job a little bit here. Uh, oh yeah. Like to 
get a little bit right under here. I can. All right, it's down. All right. Let's see if I have better luck on this side this time. Clean up this glue, hopefully. Turn this off for just a second or two. All right. Give me a couple of paper towels here. See if I can clean up some more of this mess. Gaining on it here slowly but surely. Hopefully. Uh, a little bit more here if I can sneak in, maybe. Close, pretty close here. camera are we still on on the beam here are we losing our yeah we'll make it <laughs> I don't have a cameraman so I'm all on my lonesome here on this project okay all right Whoa there! Losing my grip again. Uh, 
Let's see what I'm pinching on in here. All right. There we go. I think we're there. Certainly better than it was. So Lord do so seen it. I'm gonna take a break here. It's gonna have to set up, so I'm gonna go take a break. Get ready to perhaps have some lunch. Quick wipe down here. Ain't nothing to write home about, but I think it might be a little better than when it came in, hopefully. That's my story anyway at the moment. Yeah, this is extremely expensive. I would say this looks like mahogany that was stained black. Okay, Lloyd Dussau seeing you checking out. We're going to take a rest there. All right, I do saw senior back in action here. This has been setting up here the glue drying for about uh, two days, <laughs> which was unnecessary, but I had other things to do, and this is not an important project. And it doesn't hurt to uh, let the glue set up for a long time. Better longer than shorter. There we go. Oh, sorry about the noise. All right. All right, put back these off. Oh, the fun part is going to be Seeing if this stuff glued itself in on me. Well, that turns that part anyway. And that's turning. It would appear that the nuts themselves have a, <coughs> a grip on the wood down there. Which I'll hopefully be able to snap them loose. I'm hoping. Oh boy. I'm going out of there. Yeah, that's going to take some chasing, I'm sure. All right, there's one out. close here. Well, who knows what we're going to end up with when the dust settles here. Okay, well, hmm, let's see what it looks like with the tape off. Come on. It's a little snug, but I'm sure I'll get it up. That happens sometimes. We're in pretty good shape. Oh, no fingernails. It can be a problem sometimes.
sure I can finagle that out of there when I clean things up a little bit. So far, so good. All right. Okay, let me clean up on that and take the turn the camera off for a minute, and I'll see if I can get that out of there. All right, we're back on. I clean all the mess around here. No one. No reason to make an extra long video and watch me clean up some tape and a little bit of glue here and there. Uh, I ran an 11, make sure I get this right here, doot, 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 which was it? I ran an 11 64th drill bit down through there, which hopefully was just going to be enough to drop the, the, the uh, ball end of the strings down in there and Everybody's going to hit happily. If I have to make minor adjustments, I can always make it a little bit larger. But uh, tough to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, that neck has had no strain on it, so it's brought its back a ways. I have not adjusted it. And right now... Little bit of a problem here. We're not going to have much clearance on the string height, but I will work on that and see if we can't get it to work out. There's been no stress on the neck, so the neck could have come forward a little bit or, or bent backwards, whatever. There's no stress on it, so I expect it probably with the tension of the truss rod has got it bent back a little bit. Once we put the strings on it, it might just decide to come back in and uh, make everything happy, but we shall find out. Right now, I can take this upstairs. I can get out of the basement and do most of the rest of the work, hopefully, is stringing it and seeing if we can get it to play upstairs. So I am going to turn off the video right now and uh, hopefully get a good look at it from one end to the other. I might be able to get a picture of the inside when I'm done and I'll just put a photo in with the with the video if that works out. I'll clean up the guitar a little bit and before it's done and we'll see what happens. So Lloyd Dussel Senior checking out. I do so seen it checking in with a bum back, but a repair, repair guitar. So I am going to uh, just strum it a little bit because I'm not a guitar player. I can fix it mostly, but I'm not a great guitar player. But just so you get the sound of how this how this sounds. she sounds like she don't look too bad from the front the bridge is down I have I think I have some pictures that I'll post on with this repair of a kind of a look at the bridge plate that I installed on the inside uh, holding down nicely I did make some adjustments on the neck a little bit I had to bring the neck up a little bit it had too much back bend in it which is not 
not a problem. We get in there and crank it. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there on uh, adjusting a truss rod, so I'm not going to bore you with adjusting a truss rod. Uh, let's see. I will take the, the back side has one little bobo here, as you call it, that really took a hit. And this is not an expensive guitar, so I kind of used a little bit of super glue and some wood dust that matched the same color, or mostly the same color as the back. But one nice thing about it, it is on the back. So you could play this to your heart's content. Nobody's going to know until you show them the back. But it's not going to make a lick of difference in how it sounds. I think it sounds pretty good. I've had a couple friends play it. Uh, my grandfather, my grandson that's in a band used it the other night when they were practicing, so he thought it sounded pretty good, and the rest of the guys in the band were happy with it. So I guess we're going to call it a day on this old girl, resurrected from a, a basket case to a playable guitar that uh, kind of has a nice look. I like the, the finish on this. I would have liked it a heck of a lot more if they hadn't glued the uh, bridge down to the finish, but... Uh, we get around those things. Lloyd Dussel Sr. checking out, and hopefully we can get this posted one of these days. Oh, by the way, whoop, maybe. Uh, when you're 79, you forget stuff sometimes. Just for anybody that's interested, this uh, recording was made using my H2, good old H2 recorder, and I'm running in the, the, the H2 recorder as the microphone back up to my camera, which is a, a Zoom Q8. So anybody interested, that's how it was done. Using the Zoom as a microphone and uh, recording it on the Zoom Q8. Have a good one.